I was mean, I'm pretty sure because this movie is fairly is just new. It came out this weekend. I don't think I need to explain what the story of Ghostbusters, the 2016 movie, is. But if need be, here's a short summary: uh, three scientists and an ex uh, ex uh, subway uh, subway employee uh, form together to catch ghosts, and an event is happening that will destroy all the world. Um, now. Uh, because I am a fan of the old movies and the recent video game of Ghostbusters because I grew up with it, uh, I like to do, especially since I'm a fan of some things, um, I like to split these reviews up. Uh, first I'm going to review this movie just by itself before, and after I do that I will compare it to the originals. So just give it a fair review just on its own first, and then compare it on the other, um, with the others to see if it, you know, if it pays homage, is good, bad, whatever, with that. So we'll do the nerd review later. Right now we're just going to do a regular critical review. Um, now, you know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of the people have been saying that the, a lot of the reason most people hate this movie is because it's all women. That is not true. Um, I, I, I'll admit I don't understand the logic of hiring all women for it, but I don't hate it for that. Um, the movie itself, overall, is actually okay. It is not bad. It's not great. It is okay a movie. Um, what I didn't like about the movie, though, is that it, the humor was just painful. It was terrible. Painfully terrible. I did not find anything funny. Okay, I admit there was one or two instances that I actually did find funny, that actually was like, okay, I'll let that slide. That was actually funny. But majority of it, I did not like it. I, I, what, people, what some people thought was funny, I actually was just like, oh, kill me now. That is so childish. That is so childish. The, just childish humor, too painfully childish humor, and didn't quite like it. Um, and also, uh, the character, I, characters I felt were weak. Um, like... Uh, uh, like, uh, case in point, the example, the villain of the piece, the one that's bringing all the ghosts onto our plane, just had a weak character. The reasons for him wanting to do this just didn't have any grounding to it. It was just like, oh, I was bullied. I'm just a genius that is just bullied throughout my life. And he wanted to, you know, show people that he could be a great person, you know, that he can rule ghosts and, you know, rule the whole world. And I was just like, that doesn't really have any grounding to it. It's just bad characterization. Um, and speaking of bad characterization, uh, from the trailers, Patty seemed as dumb as brick in the trailers. But in the movie, she actually was smarter. She actually had good street smarts, street smarts, and she was had historical knowledge of the entire city. So she knew her way around them. Not only knew her way around the city, but she knew about New York itself. It was very helpful to everybody in the team, and she actually became a little smarter because of them, beginning to know more scientific stuff because of them. And in fact, at the end, she comes up with the idea that helps save the whole world and stop what's going on. So, in a sense, she was smarter in the movie, it's just the trailers didn't really show that. And so Patty was actually a good character, it's just her characterization just felt a little forced. And just kind of, like I said, weak. All the characters kind of felt weak. Um... But other than that, Patty was actually good mentally. Um, the only one that did seem interesting was Holtzman, because she was an engineer, and the stuff she was making was actually kind of neat. Although I felt she was kind of, like, kind of too cookie, like she was too quirky. It was kind of, like, forced quirkiness. I didn't like that. Um, now, uh, the, some of the things I did like about the movie. Um, I liked the visual effects of the movie. I, I understand some people thought the ghosts looked like something out of Scooby-Doo, which I admit, after hearing that, yes, they do look like Scooby-Doo, but they do look interesting. I liked how they do look more like humans, and how they glow a different color, and you could see through the skeleton, and how, you know, they kind of have kind of like this misty sway to them. I, I like that, and I liked how when they pass through something, like a wall, door, ceiling, floor, anything uh, of matter, they leave ectoplasmic goo. And I thought that was a nice nod to that, and I like uh, that, you know, ghosts leave ectoplasmic goo, or just the fact that it shows the evidence that they're passing through something. Um, so those were pretty cool. Um, I also liked the, um, the progress of the gadgets that they made, because at first it was just made from something scrap metal, stuff they could just pick from, like, garbage or something, and I, it looked neat. Uh, and the development and the progress to what it came to at the end of the movie, which came more recognized, not like full-on 
uh, recreation of what we saw in the original movies, but something that would represent their own, but look neater, nice, and actually more functional and safe. So I was like, that was pretty cool. And the design of all of them to that was pretty good as well. Although, what I didn't like with the new gadgets was how they created some of them to be more uh, uh, more offensive and, you know, kind of more fighting. I didn't like that because Ghostbusters are more like firefighters, you know, they take care of the situation, they don't go in to fight, and it just didn't seem right. Uh, particularly at the end of the movie when it was more of an action fight scene, and I didn't particularly like that either, it just, it, and just didn't feel right uh, for that. Um, and uh, that was pretty much it for just a critical review. Overall, it was good. Like I said, it's okay. It's not a terrible movie. It is okay. I critically, I give it two stars out of five. It's just give it a chance. Go see it. You might like the type of humor. You might not. So just go see it. Um, now, let's go over the, the fan review. Does it hold a candle to the original movies? No, not at all. Does not. If you're a hardcore Ghostbuster fan and you hated everything in the trailers and you have your mind fixated on hating this movie, do not see it. You will hate it. But if you're like me and you wanted to reserve all judgment until you actually saw the movie, you just like, you know what, give it a chance, you know, we're, we're probably just seeing all the bad stuff, just give it all, give it a shot, you know, give it a chance, then go see the movie. Go see it so you can say, you know what, I saw it, I can have an honest opinion about it. Um, you could either say it's okay or it's good or that you know you feel like I said in the other other side if you you like that type of childish humor you might actually like it you might actually find it funny because when I saw it there was actually a lot of people laughing at all the humor where I was just like no that's terrible but so you might actually like the humor uh, so just go see it you might actually like I said think it's okay just give it a shot that's all I'm asking give it a shot um, what Ghostbusters fans, I th think, might actually like it, well, not like it, like the, some things in it, is the cameos by each surviving me crew members. The, the cameos by each of those original actors are actually good little points in the movie. I actually enjoyed them. Uh, everything from uh, Harold Ramis' bust, uh, he bust, uh, bust of his head, uh, that was like in one shot, and I like that, because Egon's my favorite Ghostbuster, uh, but it was a nice little memorial to Harold Ramis. Uh, Bill Murray's cameo, um, Dan Aykroyd's cameo, uh, Annie Potts' cameo, um, Ernie Hudson, Dan Aykroyd's, and Sigourney Weaver's cameos are all great in their own little thing. They're like nice little highlights for a fan if you see through the entire movie, even to the very end of the credits. So I thought those were all nice. Um, other than that, really, for a hardcore Ghostbuster fan, I'm not too sure you will entirely enjoy it any other way. Um, but after the movie, after I saw the movie, the only thing I can see a hardcore Ghostbuster fan actually being proud of with this movie is that it keeps it alive for another generation. It keeps Ghostbusters alive for another gen generation, and if their kids come out, because this movie does feel like more like something for kids rather than for adults or for people of the previous, who grew up with the original movies. Uh, so if you see this with your kid, they might like it and like, oh, I love Ghostbusters, I love everything Ghostbusters. You go, hey, here's my Ghostbusters. And they watch it and they probably go, oh, wow, this is great too. I like all these things. And they rewatch the other movies. Like, oh my God, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, you know, they see all these cameos and stuff. You're like, wow, that's cool. And so maybe it'd be something to help the generations kind of bridge together and maybe hope for something better or more in, in the future. So that's something I think that hardcore Ghostbusters could probably take out of it is something to get their kids interested in Ghostbusters and pass it on throughout um, but other than that it's just like I said okay nothing nothing else um, overall both fan and critic I just can only give this two stars um, like, the only thing bad is just terrible humor and poor characterization everything else is just kind of hit and miss good, okay, man, nah, man. Nah. You know, it, every person has their own opinions, so everything I kind of say, you might think the opposite, like, particularly, like I said, with the humor, I didn't particularly, I didn't laugh at majority of it, but people around me did. They actually found it quite funny. So, this is just my opinion. I, you might think differently or agree. It's just whatever you want. So, in reference to that, like I said many, many times through this review, review just give it a shot. You might like it, you might hate it, you might think it's okay whatever, just go for it, so, 
that's that. Ghostbusters 2016. Hopefully it might be better in the, uh, in the sequel, because let's face it, they're going to make a sequel whether we like it or not. So hopefully in the sequel they'll do better, better humor, better story, better characters, and everything else. So yeah, hopefully they do better, because this one is just... Yeah. Well, especially since, spoiler alert, the sequel may have Zool. You don't believe me? Stay to the end of the credits. Stay to the very end of the credits of the movie, and you'll see, oh, they're hinting at Zool. Hmm. And I hope if they do the sequel, Zool will be done well. That's all I can hope for. And when the sequel does come out, I will do like I did with this one, give it a chance. Because hopefully, they, they, you know, with a the sequel, they try and do something better and bigger. So hopefully they do try something better. So, but we'll see. We won't know until we actually see it. So. All right, thank you for watching this review. I hope I did it fair enough. If you think it was either bad, good, go ahead and comment in the, in, leave a comment in there. If, you know, you already hated the movie, just kind of like, again, just leave the opinions in the comments and then we can discuss it, you know. Uh, many other reviews have been fair as well, so uh, go look out there because other people have, you know, pretty good opinions about the moon, movie and given fair reviews just like I have. Uh, some of them are, you know, also kind of like, don't even want to see it, so, you know, just have an open mind. Like I said, go give the movie a shot, but also look at other people's reviews, because, you know, we all have different varying opinions, so, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.